get cold and you're enjoying yourself out there this evening. Uh, the temperatures feel like the teens and 20s. If you haven't been out and you're about to go, make sure you're layered up. The winds aren't as strong as they were earlier, but it still feels like uh, the teens and 20s around. See the winds of right now, the speeds in most cases are below 20 miles an hour. This is an improvement still out of the northwest, so it's still a cold wind for sure. Even the wind gusts aren't as strong or as plentiful. Long Beach with a gust of 22 miles an hour. Everywhere else, it's below that. Much, much better. Well, the trees looking great. Skaters are out there. People are out and about in Rockefeller Center. Not, any, not letting the cold stand in the way. Uh, 33 feels like 24 in Midtown right now with the west-northwest wind. Uh, the winds dying down will make it feel less cold or less frigid, that is, because the temperatures, the actual readings, will be dropping into the 20s later on tonight under clear skies all the way to 5 a.m. So we'll be waking up to the cold. However, uh, it will warm up tomorrow. So teens and 20s tonight, winds northwest 5 to 10, so a much lighter wind expected as we go through the overnight. And then tomorrow it warms up a little bit as our winds turn to the west and then the southwest brings up the readings into the 40s and higher than that too. Chester, Wantage, Bethel, Piscataway, you're up to 42 tomorrow, 43 in Midtown, upper 30s in uh, Newburgh and Alamucci, at least it's above freezing, and 42 out towards the Hamptons. We have a flood watch that's been issued for much of New Jersey, central, northern New Jersey, all the way into southern New Jersey. That goes into effect Thursday night because of all that rain that's coming for Friday. So just letting you know ahead of time, uh, right now, no other counties are under the flood watch. That's likely to change as we get closer to the storm. So, flood watch of one to three inches of rain. That's what we're expecting around here on Friday. Uh, the travel troubles will be in across, spread out across the northeast. Expect numerous airport delays and also slowdowns in traffic around the region, too. Make sure you drive safely if you have to. A lot of people traveling, stick to mass transit if you can, because it's going to be slow going on the roads. Low pressure develops along the Gulf Coast. This is where it starts on Thursday, and it spreads northward and spreads the rain right into the tri-state. It will be windy and rainy throughout the day with that one to three inches of rain by Friday night. And that's pretty much across the entire northeast quarter, even from Boston uh, back through parts of Pennsylvania down to D.C. and Norfolk, Virginia. Rain is going to spread across the entire region.